the Peace Vision, a portal for positive change. With me today is author David Essel. He's often a guest here with us, Peace Vision. Thanks for coming back. John, always great to be with you. Our last topic with David was we talked about his new book, 50 Plus Flavors of Erotic Love. And today we're going to talk about some of the people behind this book in terms of some of the stories that really yeah. inspired this book, right, David? Yeah. You know, how this started, John, was in 1997, a woman came to me with a relationship challenge that I had no idea how to help her with. Her husband wanted a different role in their relationship, and she was afraid that he was going off end and he wasn't going to be the same guy. He was a very driven guy. And he says to her, I want you to start taking control in the bedroom. I want you to be creative and tell me what to do. And she was raised traditionally. The man is in charge. The man says what to do. And he, he blew her mind. So she came to me thinking there was something wrong with him. Well, six weeks later working together, she fell in love with her role now that she used to be passive. Now that she's the assertive lover and their relationship blew up in a positive way. We have a woman that came to work with me because she wanted more erotic intimacy with her husband. But she said to me on the first session, John, my husband's a CPA. He'll never go for this stuff, right? So she had this in her mind. So we had to reverse her mindset and open her mind. So she started leaving notes for him. You know, I'd really like to have this done and that done. And he was reading them, but he wasn't responding. One day she comes home and there's a note on the, on the bed. And it said, I want you to take a shower right now. I want you to put your hair up because that turns me on. There's new lingerie and heels in the closet. Put them on. Lay on the bed. Underneath the bed, you're going to find a blindfold. You'll find candles, and you're going to find a feather. I want you to take out what you'd like to use on me. Put the blindfold on. I'll be home at 630. So here's this woman that knew her husband would never be into this. And as she's laying with her blindfold on, he comes into the room, and she's blown away, right? And he said, the very first thing he does, he leans to her ear and says, I've been reading the books that you've been reading and the notes from your counselor. I know what you want and you're going to receive it now. And it turned into this really, they were married for 10 years. They had barely had any sex, you know. And so it was this like big turning point for them. And of course, they're rocking now and doing all kinds of great things. And what did you learn from that as an author and what you really meant to share with couples is what? Communication. You know, like, be open, risk. If you're bored with your love life and you don't tell your partner, there's no way to heal it, right? So we say we got to be open and we're going to have to risk. A lot of the stories in the book, almost all of them, are clients that came to me bored in their love life and not knowing what to do, you know? There was a couple that did something really exciting. So they were together 25 years. They were both interested in having an affair, okay? The wife wanted to have an affair with someone. Now, they weren't talking to each other. The wife finally said, one of my girlfriends worked with you, David, and she said you have some creative ideas to save relationships. And so this is what we did. I got them both in the office and I said, what would be the most erotic thing that you guys could do together? And the husband said, well, I read a story once about a couple that came into the bar separately as if they didn't know each other. And the woman picked up the man. And as they walked out, the whole bar was like staring blown away. So they did it, right? And so he goes into the bar, she goes to the bar, he, she sends him a drink, you know, the role reversal thing, right? And then she comes over and he waves her over and she sits down. Now the whole bar is watching this because here's a woman dressed very sexy, buying a guy a drink, right? And he sat there for a few minutes and he looks at her and he says, it's time for you to come with me now. And they get up and walk out. Now, this was all staged, right? But they do this for excitement, to keep their love life excited. And pushing they, the limits. They're yeah. pushing the limits, right? And they both said the same thing. Prior to that, they were both on the verge of having affairs because they weren't getting anything exciting, no passion. They were bored. So these are some of the things we do. In the last story, John, which is very touching, a woman 100 pounds overweight came to me. She had never been in an intimate relationship. And she said, my girlfriends that talk about your stuff, sensual, erotic love, told me I should see you. She said, but David, I've never been sensual. I've never been sexual. I've never had a boyfriend. Look at how heavy I am. Look at how overweight I am. So we started working on her self-confidence and self-esteem. And I didn't tell her anything about losing weight, John. I never mentioned you should lose weight. I said, let's start working on the inside. So then she started buying lingerie. She had never worn lingerie. She started wearing makeup. She had never worn makeup before. Then she got a collar, you know, beautiful collar, which is a part of the book. We talk about, you know, the importance of a collar and love relationships and all that kind of stuff. And when you know it, 60 days later, she meets a guy, very average weight, 
who falls in love with her sensuality because she'd been practicing for six months of what it's like to be a sexual... How to feel beautiful. Yeah, how to feel beautiful, yeah, right? Yeah. And so there's stories like that in the book. You know, couples on the verge of leaving each other, couples on the verge of affairs, this young woman never thinking she'd ever find love. And when you go into the program that we teach, you find that the opposite is often true. David Essel, the new book is 50 plus favorite fla flavors of erotic love. There it is. And where can we get this book, David? You know, it's Amazon.com is the easiest place in the world. All of our books are there and it's available. And we will come back one more time with David and get into some suggestions for the bedroom on Peace Vision.